Hi guys, Squall Leonhart 1000 here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial for RPG Maker VX Ace on the Cast Awesome Light Effects. So um, you're going to want to download the uh, script first, and when you uh, download it, it should uh, look the file should look something like this inside it. So um, yeah, I'll just give you guys a basic rundown on what it looks like by actually going in the uh, demo here so as you can see you got really cool uh, outside light effects inside too it's uh, pretty good go downstairs this one is like a lantern thing so you could just grab it your character runs around with it it's pretty cool And now the next one I'm going to be showing you guys is one that only uses a character that you're seeing on the screen. If you want to create your own sprite using your own character, that's fine. But this one only uses the character you're seeing on the screen. So you run into this, and as you can see, it turns into a flashlight. So yeah, this, um, this script is like perfect for, um, I don't know what you want to call it, uh, horror games. Like if you guys have seen my horror game demo that I posted on my channel, um, it does use the cast awesome light effect. So what you're wanna gonna what you're gonna wanna do first is go into your script editor on the cast awesome light effects uh, game, copy the script down here. It should be in between. I'm mine's in Japanese again, but should it be in between materials and whatever's down here. And I'm not sure if that's materials or what. We'll go to our tutorial thing here. And um, you go to your script editor, paste it right around the same spot. So we'll paste it right here. So you got your cast awesome light effects here. Now I know now most of you guys are probably going to be like, okay, so let's copy off an event from. Uh, no, I'll just go. I'll go into a smaller map here. So yeah, I'll I'll, I'll use our town map for an example. So um, what you're going to want to do first to make like a light is um you can either make it based off of a sprite you use on your screen or you can use like a certain light thing like I'm gonna use this one and there's several different types of lights you can do so you can do comment uh, square bracket light zero square bracket and um, that is gonna appear as a light on your screen now if you actually enter the game and enter your town it's not going to turn dark at all and um, I'm going to tell you guys why. I'll get out of this. So in the cast awesome light effects, let's go to our first map here. You notice this event up here. All of these events, door, are your, and these are your lights. Like this one, for example, comment light one. But this one right up here is where all the magic happens. So let's click on that. This one is an auto run event, which makes the screen darker. So you can just um, copy this. Go into your project and then uh, put it wherever. Doesn't really matter. Walking animation, turn that off. Auto run. You're gonna paste this. And when you go to character, go to character temporary event removal. This is very important. If you don't put that, then your character will not be able to move. So yeah, we got that taken care of. So now you're gonna see this light appear on your screen when you enter this town. Now most of you are probably like, okay, I got the I got the game mechanics down. So let's start our game. So you're going to start your game, and that's going to happen. And if you see, saw my talk and tie tutorial, most of you would think, okay, let's open up the resource manager and find wherever the pictures are and just export them and import them. Well, that doesn't happen with this one. What you're going to want to do is in the cast awesome light effects file, go into your graphics and you will see lights right here so what you're gonna need to do is copy this whole folder into your graphics folder for your tutorial not tutorial sorry for your project this just happens to be the tutorial project and now it'll actually show the effects As you can now see, you've got 
the uh, light effect right here on this building and the screen is much darker now so yeah that's uh this is definitely cool if you guys make horror games I definitely recommend this if you want to use this to create like a kind of like dark dark tile uh, styled um, dungeon for your RPG that would be good too now I'm going to be showing you guys one more event you can do and that was the lantern event that you saw in here so what you're going to want to do go to the one this one we're not going to touch the flashlight event since you're going to need to make your own sprite for that and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about you click on this event you're going to notice right over here define change character graphic char lantern now this one this character graphic right here I'm going to see if I can find it in the files here graphics no not that one that's tutorial so um, characters this is what it looks like you're gonna you're gonna probably um you probably don't need this so um if you want to create like a flashlight thing you could probably just copy this event right here so I've never actually done this so I'm just gonna test it out here just copy this um tutorial we'll create an event right here graphic oh, we'll go to flame we'll use the same thing this no walking animation um, player contact same as characters doesn't matter and um, uh, what am I doing uh, actually comment like you saw there light 3 we're gonna paste the script Let's see if they added any anything else in here switch operation now uh, that's just a switch so we'll add a switch here so switch operation um, number five is on for example and then uh, you're gonna create a new event page where switch number five is actually on so um, let's just test this out I've never actually done this kind of event before so if it doesn't work I won't be surprised Yeah, so as you can see, your character now has a flashlight. That's pretty cool. The other one you could do is um, different, and I actually like the other one better, but it's completely up to you guys, whatever one you want to do. And that's the lantern one. So um, go back to your Casa Awesome Light Effects right here, and um, go to your uh, map. This is the lantern event right here. So just copy that. And uh, we'll go back to our tutorial. Let's make this a graphic uh, flame. We'll make it like a lantern kind of thing right here. So you're going to want to um, make a comment. For the record, whatever light you guys want to use, you don't have to always use um, like 0 or 3 or whatever. You can. It's all the way up to 3, so 0, 1, 2, or 3. Let's just go um, 1 for this one. So light 1. Just paste that event right there. I'm not sure. I don't think they put anything else right there. So let's check the event. Switch operation. That's it. So tutorial. Turn the switch on. Okay, let's make it switch 20 just because, I don't know. New event page. Nah, this doesn't matter. And then uh, switch 20 is on. So, um, yeah, let's test this out. Yeah, we got our two lights right here, the lantern and the flashlight. So yeah, now you, as you can see, your character moves around with the lantern. So go back to the world map. I like this one better just because it surrounds your character rather than it goes in front of your character. But um, that it's totally on preference, whether it's lantern or flashlight or whatever you guys want to do. Uh, that's fine. But to get that light effect that you guys saw and cast out some light effects for the actual... Um, flashlight like right here in order to get that light effect that appears on your character's side you have to use the one that they gave you if you don't then it's not gonna appear like the char lantern image so it, it, it doesn't really matter I actually kinda don't mind it like this but um 
yeah, this is just a basic tutorial. I thought I'd uh, make it for you guys. If you guys make horror games, I'd highly, highly recommend it. It's definitely one of the best scripts you can do for making a horror game. But, um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, ask questions. I'll definitely include the link for this um, uh, script in the description. So, yeah, like, favorite, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.